and this is actually a video that uh, um, Flat Earth Banjo came out with. And, and I have to agree with this. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. Yes, um, yes, if, I have been seeing it. It's really good. It's five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and play it for everybody. But uh, yeah, I think this deserves a little bit of discussion for sure. And um, so let me go ahead and give it a quick play here and then we can talk about it. So let me know if you don't hear any audio. Here we go. Hello, guys. Hope you are doing fine today. And this video is entirely based on a video that Eric Dubay recently did. It's called 20 Reasons Against Newtonianism, written by Ebenezer Bridge, with a book by Eric Dubay. So one of the, I'm going to play here the parts, but I have been both in Rio, in Brazil, of course, I was, I was born in Brazil. I do live in Japan now, but I have recently been to New Zealand and I brought my compass with me and they all point north. Whether you are in Rio, your compass will point towards the North Pole, the magnetic North Pole. Same thing when you are in New Zealand, your compass will point towards the magnetic North Pole. So how can this work on a ball? A compass cannot work on a ball earth, on a spinning ball earth. So let's go ahead and listen to this part of the Eric Dubé's video, and we will go from there. 5. Because we have no antipodes or colonials under our feet. If the Australians are facing the North Center, and the Europeans are doing the same, they stand face to face, not feet to feet, like flies on a ceiling, so foolishly supposed and taught. A compass can only work on a flat stationary earth, just like this illustration demonstrate. When I was in New Zealand, my compass pointed towards the north, the magnetic north pole. Same thing when I'm real, my compass will point towards the magnetic north pole. Compass don't work on a ball. For those who know a little bit about compasses, you need to hold them flat on a surface. You need to keep it flat, otherwise it won't work, as this expert here explains. Today, we're going to go over the fundamentals of a compass, which include the basic parts, how to hold a compass, and the simple steps to follow when using your compass. Now, how to hold your compass. Remember, north is never up in the sky. Remember, north is never up in the sky. Remember, yeah, think. north <laughs> is never up in the sky. So hold your compass nice and flat. So hold your compass nice and flat. So hold your compass nice and flat. That will allow our needle to point towards north. That will allow our needle to point towards north. So this is the quote that Eric Dubay read, but I have made some adaptations here towards uh, the video that we are talking about today. Because we have no antipodes or colonies in feet, if the Brazilians are facing the north center and the New Zealanders are doing the same, they stand face to face, not feet to feet. Adapted from Ebenezer Bridge's book, 20 Reasons Against Newtonianism. If the Brazilians, the Brazilians are facing, facing the north, north center, center and the and New, New Zealanders, Zealanders are doing the same, same, same. they stand they face, face to face, 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 face not, not, not feet, 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 feet to feet. feet. So we stand face to face with each other, whether you are in New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Brazil, we all face each other because the layout of the earth is flat. We do not live on a spinning ball where the compass could not work, especially if this earth is rotating on its axis and then going around the sun and your compass would point to where? To the stars. It doesn't make any sense. If you compare here on the curvature on the curvature chart, you see that, that it's impossible for a compass to point towards the magnetic north pole. If you are in Brazil, New Zealand, Australia, or anywhere, if you're pointing towards this region, it's because you live on a flat plane, not on a spinning ball. Thanks, guys. That's all for today. Keep it flat. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. So basically what, what he just told us here, and this is absolutely true. 
um, as we've seen in so many demonstrations and experiments where um, the compass has to be laid out flat so as to not drag the magnets down, uh, drag, not drag the uh, uh, hands of the compass down uh, into the front of the compass or the back of the compass. And of course, we don't ever get an attraction at the South Pole. And in fact, the South Magnetic Pole is nowhere near Antarctica, right? So the whole idea of the Earth being a spherical magnet um, is complete and utter BS.